How's it going, everyone? Marilyn here, and that's right. It's time for more of Marilyn's Pokemon Moon Adventure. Last time I got done facing off against Totem Vikavolt over here in the uh, Hakulani Observatory. I hope you observed that fight. But anyway, right now I have two things I'm thinking of doing. First of all, I want to take the scenic trail down uh, Mount Hokulani. I think that'd be cool. Actually, that's not what I want to do, first of all. First of all, there's somewhere that I completely forgot to check out. Actually, I'm sure there's a lot of places. What am I talking about? But I was thinking about it. It's like, you know what? I never went to this beach, and it looks like a very large beach. So let's take a trip back to the Hano Grand Resort and see what kind of stuff I can find on that beach. It's like, I said I was going to go there, and then, guess what? I just, I totally didn't. I mean, I kind of practically got abducted to go to that island. Um, and then I went to another island against my will, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, it's you. Um, yeah, well, there's probably a lot of hidden items in the sand, and there's also the Zygarde cell that I actually saw while editing. I'm like, wait, there's a Zygarde cell there. Um, oh wait, no, we don't want you. We definitely want you, though. I'm sure that there's probably a lot of really good items. Uh, oh, cool. I can actually go in, like, the shallow water. That's nice. Oh, you don't want to fight? You really don't? I'm a real man of the season. I consider it my duty to keep the beach safe. So here's my warning to you. The only people you'll find swimming in the water here are Pokemon trainers. Be careful out there. Well, thanks for uh, putting safety first there, pal. All right. Oh, looks like there's an item. So to find the items, by the way, I've kind of done a little bit of practice with this. Um, you just kind of want to follow the direction. Or not really the direction, but like I want to keep going this way until I don't see it really anymore. In this case, it's probably behind that tree. Um, oh, how am I going to get back there? I don't think I can with this dog. It's probably back here. Yeah, there we go. So that was a terrible example, <laughs> in other words. Uh, and there's another Zygarde cell here. Glistening sweat, slippery goo, the perfect tune that keeps Hano Beach going. Puku Puku Chuckers are desperately needed. Won't you become a Puku... Puku Muku Chucker? Um, I beg your pardon? I'm one of the staff members responsible for keeping Hano Beach spotless for our guests. But Puku Muku sometimes wriggle up on our beach from the sea. I don't know why they do it, but we just can't leave them there. They shrivel up on land, and that's not all. Our guests get grossed out seeing them and sometimes even get hurt stepping on them. <laughs> that's terrible. So we end up with no choice but to chuck those poor Puku Muku back into the sea. I'll explain the job to you. It's pretty easy. Step one, catch Puku Muku. Step two, throw the Puku Muku back into the sea. Step three, report back to me once every last Puku Muku on the beach is returned to the sea. So, what do you say? Do you think it has, do you think you've got what it takes to be a Puku Muku chucker? Well, you know what? I didn't have this on my bucket list, but I guess I do now. So yeah, I need to be a Puku Muku chucker. Um, then get every last Puku Muku on this beach diving right back into the sea. Let's see, I can still see six Puku Muku left on the sand and in need of saving. That is such a funny word to say. Puku Muku. Puku Muku! Puku Muku. <laughs> it's a silly thing. Yeah, chuck that pu Puku Muku. Oh, oh my, it's a wild Pokemon. I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what is this swirling thing in the sand? Oh, it's a star you. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, I definitely want to catch this thing. Uh, the question is, do I want to use a quick ball on it, or should I save my money? Oh, I have dive balls. Let's use... No, actually, dive balls wouldn't work, because it works underwater, but I do have net balls. Um, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Psychic against it. I don't think it'll knock it out. Whoa, wait, I forgot it's not part Psychic yet. Well, it... Oh, I'm good. I am so good. I mean, I meant to do that, yeah. Totally meant to do that. Yeah, that that was all me. Um, well, I'm sure I can catch it in a Pokeball now. That wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah, critical capture nonetheless, which is great. Always a nice thing. Now that I've been catching a whole bunch of Pokemon, the chances of having a critical capture definitely increased. 
It makes my life so much easier. All right, well, let's go ahead and call this thing Shooting Star. I think that's a kind of a neat name for it. I don't know, will it fit? I think it'll fit. It should fit. Ah, uh, this Pokemon gets nibbled on by Luminian and others. Thanks to its red core, it regenerates fast, so it's unconcerned by their snack attacks. Yeah, use a snack attack. All right, let's see if Shooting Star fits. It does. I don't get a space, but that's okay. Yeah, Shooting Star. Um, let's just take a look at you just to see if there's anything new and exciting. Illuminate. I wonder if this finally got an ability in battle. Ooh, you have Stardust. Nope, doesn't look like it. What a ripoff. Uh, oh, darn it. Well, I was gonna say you took my Stardust, but I guess I would have taken your Stardust, so we'll let it be. Uh, yeah, let's chuck this Pukumuku. Yeah, get out of there, Pukumuku. Oh, there's like things over there. What the heck? I gotta see what they're all about. It's not even like fishing stuff. Ah, it's after me. What is it? Is it a Pukumuku? No, it's a Tentacool. Oh man, not really that cool. I want a Pukumuku. That would be pretty cool. Actually, you know what? I don't have a Tentacool. So I'm gonna Psychic, it'll probably knock it out, but it does have a lot of special defense, so maybe not. Nope, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very knocked out this time. That's fine, it's not a big deal. I just, I don't know, I don't really feel like using Quick Balls on it. Oh, uh, oh no, <laughs> stop, go away, leave me alone. Oh, these Tentacruel, they're being really Tentacruel if you ask me. Okay, well, maybe just maybe I will try to use a bug type move. Let's give it a little bit of pollen puff. Although this one is level 24, so it's a little bit more manageable. Toxic spikes, gross. Oh no, that's, that's just not happening. Nope, nope. If you think that that is a good thing to do, you are not anyone I want to associate with. Not at all. So I was thinking a lot about these totem fights, right? And they're actually really fun. Ooh, a pearl string, that's good. Uh, they're actually really fun because it is a two-on-one. I mean, that's really interesting, even though they're a wild Pokemon. Okay, it's a wild Pokemon with an automatic stat increase, which is pretty dangerous, really. I mean, that can definitely get pretty rough um and like it can summon an ally which doesn't even use up its action by the way which is definitely something and then it turns it into a two-on-one fight like gym leaders you know they're strong and all and i do kind of miss the gym leaders but these totem pokemon are actually no joke they are they're pretty solid and the fact that it's a two-on-one is just something i kind of overlooked for a bit because that really does make it a lot tougher. All right, so I got all the Pukumuku off the beach. What are you looking at? I already got the, the beach pristine, no thanks to you. So let's see what this guy has to say. Good job, part-timer. You've got every last Pukumuku that was stranded on the beach back into the sea. Now that they are safe back where they should be and the beach is safe for our guests, or, and it's real, it's safe for their, whatever. Uh, you know, you're a real good worker, you know? You have a real knack for pukumuku chucking. And I've got your pay ready for you right here. Take it, you've earned it. Sick, that was the easiest 20,000 bucks of my life. Pukumuku are one of the most famous of all the Alolan Pokemon, but a lot of tourists from other regions don't understand their appeal. It's a real shame. But no matter how many times we toss them back into the sea, they come wriggling back up the next morning like clockwork. Feel free to come back and help again whenever you have some spare time. Wait, what? Can I do that, like, and just keep getting money? That'd be amazing. Um, okay, I do kind of want a Pukumuku. I don't want to use it, but I just, I want to have one. I mean, that feels like the Alola experience, right? Uh, ooh, black glasses. Nice shades. I don't know who should be equipping these, though. So there are some trainers over here, and I would not mind. 
Well, I don't know if I should turn on the experience share or not. I guess I won't for right now. I feel like I was, I'm at a sufficient level. Um, it's just nice to, when you have that opportunity, good wind, good waves, and above all, my good mood. Okay, let's fight against this guy who looks way too happy with himself. Swimmer Lawrence. Okay, like seriously, that guy is just way too happy. He must be stopped. Okay. Not really happy about seeing a wingull here. So, rather than send out Shot Cake, let's send out Oreo. I'm sure that she can handle it. And she could also use a little bit of experience, and that's exactly what this wingull will give. A little bit of experience. It didn't confuse me. I'm really surprised by that. All right, what else do you have? Barboach. Well, looks like I'm switching back. <laughs> All right, Miss Mantis. Man, what is with this guy in Water Pulse? Okay, please don't get confused. Oh, I had to say it, didn't I? Of course, uh... You know, I wonder if a Z-Power gets around confusion. Let's find out. Nope, it doesn't. All right, time to do a little dance. Grass! So I picked up one of those Z-Ring things. I actually pre-ordered it like way back in the nine pack of crystals or whatever. And like, I haven't opened it yet. I'm kind of nervous. Like I don't want it to make a whole ton of sound while I'm recording, but I do kind of want to see what it's all about. Cause I don't know, it, it looked like it could be kind of neat. So I just went ahead and pre-ordered it. And I don't know, It. I guess you can do like a dance or something, or maybe it, I, from what I hear it interacts with the game somehow. I don't know how it would do that though. But I'm curious, I'm curious, so yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll have to give that a try. Hi, what's up? I'll attack you boldly in my bold bikini. A bold bikini. All right, well, go ahead and do so. Uh, Swimmer Laura. Vineon, there's a Pokemon I always forget about. You're not an evolution to Eevee. Despite having the Eon in your name. <laughs> uh, no, you're actually more Neon than Eon. Let's go ahead and Leaf Blade. Rain Dance. But it's a lovely, beautiful day out. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, it actually does change the clouds in the background. I appreciate that. That's really cool. And Shelter. Man, everything here gives such little amounts of experience. I know that it's based on your level versus theirs, and I probably should have gone here earlier. Oh no, it wasn't enough, but it's okay because Miss Mantis dodged the attack anyway. Oh, that's cool. The protect makes like a kink kind of sound. It's great, I like it. Okay, good job, Miss Mantis. That's just such a funny look on her face. Okay, um, I do want to check this place out, but I don't want to spend too much time here. Oh, there's an item. Because I also want to go to, um, oh, what is it? The, well, Mount Hokulani. I mean, there was apparently still more to check out there, and I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go next. I think I'm supposed to go back to the garden, and oh, snap, it's a Gyarados. Not ever something you want to see. Although I guess uh, it does give a lot of experience, so I'm fine seeing it. I guess, sort of, kind of, I don't know. Let's just bring in Shot Cake to, uh, oh, this will be a great thing to try out. My new Electrium Z. 
Um, let's try it out. Okay, so instead of Spark, you've got Gigavolt Havoc. I think that was one of the first Z moves shown, if I recall. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. It was pretty cool looking. Okay, <laughs> I love the look on her face. Gigavolt Havoc! Whoa! Oh yeah, it's a bad day to be a Gyarados when you're staring at that thing. All right, got a little bit of experience there. That's good. 600 Poké Dollars. Oh man. Well, Miss Mantis still hasn't evolved, but I still haven't found a replacement for her, so we're kind of at an impasse here. I guess she'll stick around for a little bit longer. <laughs> but I am getting kind of sick of it, you know? Um, so is that it? Is that, like, really it? There's nothing more to do here? I haven't even run into, like, a Pukumuku. There should be a Pukumuku here. I mean, there should be a law saying that Pukumuku must appear here. I don't even know why I want that thing. It's not like I'm that interested in Pukumuku. I just... I don't know, I want it. Like, you know how some people, they just love having, like, certain Pokemon, they're like, oh yeah, that's the best Pokemon ever! Or, like, Gumi, okay? I have this feeling like there'll be people out there, and maybe you're one of them, that just love Pukumuku to bits. And, you know, maybe that's something? I don't see it personally. I don't really see the intrigue with Gumi. No offense. But, I mean, it's kind of cute and all, but I don't know. But it always is interesting when people have, like, you know, Pokemon that they they really like. And, you know, maybe they're popular, maybe they're not. There are a lot of Pokemon I like that aren't very popular. And I like that. I think that's really cool. Um... There are a few Pokemon I like that are quite popular, but for the most part, I'd say, you know, my favorite Pokemon tend to be so random and everything. Uh, there's really no, uh, really no kind of rhyme or reason to it. I definitely have a soft spot for cute Pokemon. That much I know. And there have been some pretty cute Pokemon in Alola. I'm quite satisfied with that, like the bird. And, uh, yeah, the other thing, um... Pukumuku, not Pukumuku. <laughs> no, that thing is not cute. Um, all right, anyway, it drifts in shallow seas, such as the areas near beaches. If you get bitten or stabbed by its toxic tentacles, rush to the hospital. Oh, I haven't been able to find a hospital on the islands. I got some trouble. So we're gonna call you, we're gonna call you Cool Story. Bro? Yeah, bro. All right, cool story, bro. You're my cool story, bro. Yep, that's what you are. Um, get out of here. I don't think I need to see a tentacool. I have a feeling I know what they do. All right, so it, oh, this guy, this guy. The sea and beach are so nice. Just being here broadens my mind. All right, I'll fight him. I'll give one more look around here. And then I want to go to that, that mountain. Wishy-washy. Just a little fishy wishy-washy. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how they become big fish. Oh, well, it looks like I'm finding out. Oh, my. All right, it formed a school. Uh, Is that thing heavy? Is it not? I don't know, but let's just zap it with a Z-Power. It's time for some Bloom Doom. I mean, why not, right? It's your only Pokemon. I can use it once per battle, not once per entire game or something. So, might as well. Only downside is it is a long honking animation. <laughs> like seriously. Imagine trying to use that while grinding to get experience or something. Like, uh, not at all very productive now, is it? All right, let's.
let's see. Yeah, nothing else over here. Okay, well, that's fine. Let me go to Mount Hokulani over on Ula Ula. Wow, this is cool. So Tapu Village. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Route 13, Route 12, Secluded Shore, Route 14, 15. This looks like I'm going to go around the island. Wow, this is a very, very... Uh, Big island, I guess. Dang. Um, all right. Actually, I guess it is the big island, isn't it? I mean, you know, as far as, like, being modeled after Hawaii goes, that's what Ula Ula is modeled after. The big island. Hawaii island. I mean, that's at least what it looks like. Uh, okay. I should probably heal. I'll be right back. Okay, that's that. Let's go down this path and see what kind of fun stuff is over there. Hey, whoa! Are you okay? I was watching a pair, or I was watching the parabolic antenna, and I found a trainer. Okay. Um, office worker Jessica. Clefairy. Aww. All right, well, Miss Mantis, let's go ahead and fight this thing. Uh, yeah, let's Leaf Blade. I guess I probably should have just Bloom Doomed it, huh? Yep, see, I should have used Bloom Doom. What's the matter with me? Now it's got its Minimize going. But you'll hit it, right? No, you won't. Oh, you just got slapped by a Clefairy. Are you going to live with that? No, you are not. There we go. Okay. Well, that was one fight that could have been a lot more annoying. Like, seriously. Um, <laughs> minimize is terrible. Trainer tips. The maximum number of Pokebeans you can collect each day in Pokepelago is fixed. It's a good idea to collect your fill every day. Oh, well, I will keep that in mind. So what kind of cool Pokemon can I find up here? Ooh, hold the phone. TM72 Volt Switch. Hey, that feels like something I should give to, um, give to Shock Cake. I mean, just like, as far as it looks, it definitely looks like a move that she would be using, but it could actually have practical applications. And if I have the Electrium Z, I could always just use that to, uh, I don't know, turn it into a special... Wow, your attack is actually higher than your special attack. Huh, maybe it isn't necessary. I guess Volt Switch will do slightly more damage, but not substantially more. Well, we're gonna not learn it then, but that is something to consider. I guess there aren't really too many instances I'd be using it. Okay, what kind of Pokemon can be found over here? But more importantly, are there any items nearby? Yeah, I don't see any. Because, like, it would probably have a little exclamation mark in a direction where there's items. And then I just kind of, I don't know, move in that direction? That's what I was trying to say earlier before I got interrupted by Pukumuku guy. Firo! Oh, this isn't good for Miss Mantis. Uh-oh! But I want the experience. Let's go ahead and switch out. Mirror move. Huh, all right. Mirror! <laughs> Plus I get to keep that cool animation. Oh no! How's this Firo using Spark? Uh-oh. Um... No, no help for you. Oh, I almost feel kind of bad for it. Okay, I'll tell you what. You were a good bird. Your help didn't show up. You survived. I'll give you this opportunity to stay in this Pokeball. No, you don't even want that, you ungrateful jerk. Oh! Wow, you ungrateful jerk. Okay, you know what? Nah, I need to get it. I'm gonna get it in a... I'm, I'm just going to get in a great ball. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try that.
There we go. Whew. Oh man. Um great. <laughs> Good job there, Shot Cake. But that definitely hurt. Um, alright, Firo's data. So I already had Spiro, but that's fine. It's okay to get an even bigger bird here. Let's see what it has to say about Firo! Um, drawings of a Pokemon resembling Firo can be seen in murals from deep in ancient history. Well, is it Firo or is it Ho-Oh? Um, let's name this thing... Uh, I guess we'll call you... Mercy Bird. Because I showed you mercy and you will never forget that. So you will forever show mercy to all of your foes. Which means I probably will never use you. But... <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Um, let me just take a look at your summary just to see what you're all about. You probably had like a defensive nature. Yeah, look at that defensive nature right there. Okay, get out of here, ya bird. Out of here. Okay. See, this would not have been a problem if it weren't for, um... Weren't for Miss Mantis being up front. So let's just lead with Oreo instead. And see if I can find something else here. Oh, I don't need to go that way. Alright, what have we got? I think I might go back to heal, actually, but I want to see what this is first. Another Fero! I don't need another Fero. But the question is, can you knock this thing out? Um, yeah, let's go for it. We're gonna acrobatics. Probably take two hits. Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, assurance. Yeah, I'm definitely going back to heal. But I'd rather go and heal at level 31. <laughs> definitely. Okay, there we go. Took care of that thing. Very nice. Um. Okay, great. I will return to the Pokemon Center and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And let's see if there's anything else interesting down this road. Ooh, free item. Thanks. Fastball. Cool. Another one of those nice Johto balls. Um, this looks dangerous. They should probably put some railing there. Oh, this guy. Hiker! Ah! <laughs> no, I didn't think he was looking at me, but he like turned his head and was like, oh, okay. I was going to switch, but nope. Thomas don't care. Oh, Boldor. All right, Oreo. I don't think this is what you want to fight. However, I have a really good idea. Let's U-turn this thing. Yeah! Boom. Oh. Okay, now that that's done, I can... Actually, I'll send out Miss Mantis. Grass Knot will do great against this thing. Rock Blast. Uh-oh! Oh, hang in there, please. Yep, of course. Five times every time. Yep. I mean, it hasn't, but... It's like, when you never need it to be, it always will be then. Well, great! Now I have to go back to heal! I just got back from healing! And I don't want to spend all the money on a revive when I could just go heal! Jeez! What an absolute jerk! And all of this would have been avoided if you just would have not hit five times! Geodude. I do not- Whoa! Whoa, whoa! I did not know there was an Alolan Geo, dude. That thing looks really funny. Oh, that is crazy. It's got like nails or something on its head. <laughs> oh, that thing is hilarious. I think that's like the first Alolan Pokemon that I have not had any clue was an Alolan Pokemon. Oh, they fell off. Like, I did not know that thing was real. Um, Diglett. I know I saw the Doug Trio. I don't think I actually saw Diglett technically, but that, you know, that's hardly a big deal. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh my gosh. That was just crazy. Um, let's see what else is down here. Great, more stuff. Uh, let's see what this item is. Heavy Ball. This looks like a picture spot. Yep, I knew it. It just it was screaming to me. There's pictures here. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a Beldum. Uh, let's zoom in on that thing. Oh, it looks so happy a moment ago. Ah, that's kind of cute, actually. I can't really zoom in any further, but that's fine. Uh, let me just center it a little bit better. All right, uh, that's good. Let's go ahead and upload it, because it doesn't look like it's doing anything else other than just all content with itself over there. Yeah, we'll just take this one. Okay, uh, yeah, that's all right. Wow, that was a lot of thumbs up, 4,500. And it just sat there, <laughs> okay. I've got a long way to go for the version four or whatever. 100,000 points, woo, man, that is a lot. I really like that they added that though. I think that it's kind of a fun little distraction. Speaking of fun little distraction, I guess Ditto is in the game. I did not know if they'd have it or not. Um, yeah, well, I guess they did. So, yeah, that's cool. I can use that to breed. Very good for breeding, because if you breed Ditto with anything, it'll basically produce whatever that thing that you bred it with is. So, for instance, all the Eevees I have, even if I don't have a female of that species, I can just pop a male and one in with a Ditto, and I'll still get Eevee eggs, which is nice. Okay, Ditto. Um... Great, I'm pretty thrilled at that. Okay, let's see, what does it have to say about you? Uh, with its astonishing capacity for metamorphosis, it can get along with anything. It does not get along well with its fellow Ditto. Yeah, I, I don't think you can breed Ditto with Ditto. I think you could in Gen 2 and then they got rid of it. Um, we're going to call you... I don't really know. We're gonna call you Egg Maker, because that's basically what you do. You make eggs. Um, <laughs> all right, great. Uh, Egg Maker, let's just take a look. I don't think you'd have imposter right away. Limber and Quick Powder. Yeah, um, not recommended to use, seriously. I don't need the Quick Powder either, but hey, you know what, that's great. So cool, Ditto's up here. That's kind of nice, you can get it reasonably early. There's a person over there. I was gonna say a guy, but I actually don't know if it's a guy. So let's send out Toothpick. Get him a little bit of experience on the off chance he evolves at level 32. Whoa, no need to freak out, buddy. By battling a collector, you'll be able to obtain info on rare Pokemon. All right, show me your rare Pokemon. Show me something cool that will make me go, whoa, that is awesome, buddy. You've got two chances. Show me something amazing. What is a Passimian? Oh, it's that lemur thing. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. All right, all right, I'll, I'll give you a thumbs up for that, buddy. Because Passimian, that's the uh, the other thing that I cannot get. Um, I got Oranguru, but I think Passimian must be exclusive to Sun. However, I don't have a clue what type this thing is. Um, so I'm just gonna bone meringue it. Hope for the best. All right, here, have some bone meringue. Oh my gosh, that is pretty defensive. Although I guess you are kind of falling a little bit behind in your attack. Scary face. <laughs> it looks so dumbed down now compared to the old scary face animation. All right, there we go. Oh, don't kick the ball. That's just bad sportsmanship, buddy. Okay, toothpick, 32. Well, I guess he has the equivalent of 80 attack. Oh, you also have an Oranguru. All right, well, at least I know what that thing's type is. That thing is psychic and normal. So I should probably hit it with a Dora bug, right? Yeah, let's do that. Fain attack. Uh-uh, <laughs> that is nothing. Uh, let's hit that thing with Pollen Puff. Oh, it lives. 
So there's something I want to try out after battle. I always forget to do this. Um, I think they still have it with the uh, Pokemon Refresh or Pokemon Ami type thing. So... Oh no, maybe not. Oh darn it. There's like a moment where I think you can like cheer on your Pokemon or something. Uh, where you say, hey, great job, or something like that. Oh no, I've already been this way. Oh, I still have Toothpick out. He can't run from anything. Well, maybe a Skarmory. Uh, I guess it's good to see Skarmory here, as opposed to just in those trees. Nope, can't do it. Well, you know what? When in doubt, try, try again. There we go. Okay, I gotta switch him around. That has to happen. Uh, send out Oreo, because she doesn't get me in trouble. She doesn't get me in trouble. All right, what else is over here? I know that there's that ledge, but there's probably something else around, right? Max potion. Hey, I will take it. Um, any items? Nothing? Oh, too bad. What about over here? Man, this seems so dangerous, like seriously. That looks like one heck of a drop. What the heck is that? Minior. I seem to recall seeing that a long time ago. Actually, not even that long ago. I know that they revealed it, because it has like different cores or different forms or something like that. Um, well, let's just see what happens when I toss a quick ball at it. Hopefully that'll make my life easier, because I don't remember what type it is. I think it's Rock Psychic, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm probably mistaken, because I seriously don't really know. Ancient Power. Well, yeah, definitely look like a Rock type. Ow! Oh, Rio. Oh, that was a critical hit, too. Eek. Um, let's U-turn. Okay, I guess it's not part psychic. <laughs> Maybe it's just rock. Um. Um. Well. Let's have shot cake spark that thing. That's what I'm going to do. You know what? I don't think I've used nasty plot more than one. No! Oh no! Oh man! Well, so much for that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, well, that backfired. Advanced tips. You can retake the photo for your trainer passport anytime that you want to. It'll also be updated for you whenever you change your clothes or your hairstyle. So wait, how does that work? I mean, I know I keep getting it updated, but is there more I can do with it? Uh... A portrait photo. Oh, I can change my photo? How does that work? I mean, I, I see this. I didn't realize that there was a photo shoot. Oh, okay. So I guess I can just kind of kind of get my good side or something. Uh, hey. What's up? I wish I could like rotate it at a goofy angle. That'd be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> just my head. Hold up. Perfect. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> I like it. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I've had my fun. Um, yeah, that was great. I'm glad they did that. Whoa, it's a magmar. Alola is a tropical region, but mountain peaks can be cold. I'm so smart that I brought magmar with me. That you are, magmar. Oh man, is this the end? Uh, well, looks like this is the end. Although that's fine, because I feel like this dragged on a little bit. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. So, I'm gonna do just one or two more fights around here before I wrap things up, just to see if I can get something cool. Um, let's go ahead and lead with Miss Mantis, though. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. But, yeah, I'll cut in if I see anything cool. Well, there's Minior again, and that was like the first fight, so 
Yeah, um, let's just toss that quick ball and hope for the best. This thing likes to go kaboom. And uh, yeah, that's pretty dangerous. So when something like that shows up, quick ball all the way. Or master ball. I oftentimes do not use my master balls in games. I save them just on that off chance. Yeah, see, here we go. Just on that off chance, you run into a shiny with like self-destruct or roar or something like that. Um, because that way you can, um, you can just toss the master ball and you don't have to worry about losing a shiny. Slash, you know what? No, that's terrible. Why would you ever want that? You don't need that. Unless maybe you do in order to evolve. I didn't really think about that. Oh, well, whatever. Shields down. Oh, whoa, that thing has some weird looking eyes. What the heck? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, these things are really hard to catch too. Like I've been trying, oh wow, it's now it's faster. I have been trying to catch this one for a while now. Uh, yeah, and even Ultra Balls weren't working on it. Hopefully now that it's asleep and weakened a bit more, it'll stay inside. Finally, all right, Minior was caught. Um, yeah. Oh, see, I should have pressed something there when he was looking back at me. All right, oh, that's such a silly looking thing. Uh, okay, Minior. Uh, blue core. Oh, rock flying, whoa. If its core stays exposed, it will soon die off. Oh no, it's possible that it may survive if it's put into a Pokeball quickly enough. Aw, oh, okay. Problem solved. We're gonna call you Minion. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I didn't want to call it Minion. Like, you know, that would make me think of those weird looking yellow things that I don't care for. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. You have decent stats all around. You're really fast, too. Shields down. What does this do? Um, when its hit points becomes half or less, the Pokemon shell breaks and it becomes aggressive. Okay. <laughs> Nature, relax. Characteristic, likes to relax. Hey, you don't say. Oh, there we go, a Beldum. Well, it definitely took a while for this thing to show up, so it's probably pretty rare. And if I recall, it is an absolute monster to catch because its only move is takedown. It has a really low catch rate. And yeah, have fun with that. So let's just hope I get lucky with a quick ball. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> yep, here we go, takedown. Lovely. Um, so, oh, and it has clear body, so I can't even use Feather Dance. Well, that's just great. Uh, let's U-turn and get out of here. By the way, if you want a Beldum, one of the best things you can do to get a Beldum, or at least make it tolerable to catch, would be to bring a ghost type with you, because its only move is takedown, right? Well, it's a normal type move. So if you're only, you know, <laughs> if its only move is a normal type move and you have a ghost type, guess what? It is not going to be a problem. It won't knock itself out. Won't be much of an issue at all. So I definitely recommend that. Oh my, it's calling for help. Uh, well, that makes me like it a lot less. I love it if it, like, called for help, and then this big honking Metagross appears. That'd be really funny. Great, another Beldum. Uh, <laughs> I don't care for this very much, because now I have to switch out, and then I have to knock one out, and then, uh, uh. Seriously, worst mechanic ever! Stop it! Ah! Oh man, that was a tough one to catch, but I finally got it! That's good. 
I tell you, a little toothpick. He like held on with, oh darn it. He held on with uh, one hit point twice, like due to Pokemon refresh or whatever. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I fought a Metang. Cool, well I got that thing. Steel Psychic with magnetic traction, it pulls its opponents in close. When they're in range, it slashes them with its rear claws. Woo, man. All right, we're gonna call you, um, Handlebar. I don't know. There we go. Okay, Handlebar. What do you have for, like, your nature, your ability? Oh, Brave Nature. Huh, so you have a lot of attack. Very low speed, though, but, eh, oh well. All right, well, anyway, I think I'm going to end things here. I hope that you enjoy this episode, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Moon Adventure. See you next time, everyone. Alola!